Welcome back to part 21 of my Duke Robert the Fox of Apulia game. Currently Holy Roman Emperor, and we're trying to acquire the Byzantine Empire. Mostly what we're trying to do is murder <laughs> my uncle, who is just in between me and my grandfather for the throne. So we'd be inheriting it when he dies, uh, assuming that we can get this kid out of the line of succession, and any other future kids he might have with his wife. Uh, which has been two already, so there could be more. How's his health anyway? Still fine. He does have flagellant, but he's got some health benefits. Um, okay. On the other front, we are waiting for our betrothed here to come of age. Um, she's the daughter of the King of England. Now he's dealing with some revolts actually. Um, so we don't actually have an active alliance with him. War against the tyranny. So he gets deposed if this happens. Uh, and it looks pretty likely because he's heavily outnumbered in it. Uh, if he gets deposed, then his son will become um, become king, and then his granddaughter is actually in the line of succession as well. So I think we're just going to keep an eye on them. Um, but then after those two, it is our uh, betrothed here, Princess Alice. Uh, so we're gonna try to get her on the throne, but like obviously we're still more focused on the Byzantine Empire here. Uh, this is kind of a long shot getting England, but we'll still try it. See if we can pull it off. Um, I don't think I can just join his war, can I? No, not my ally. Um, we're mostly okay with the land that we have now. Looks like some of our vassals have some revolts, but we're pretty much unchallenged. There's a small faction, but it's not really a threat. Mostly what I'm worried about is the Byzantine Empire once we inherit it, if we inherit it. Um, there can be some pretty disloyal vassals in there, and we're going to have to keep an eye on them. Plus our empire is going to be huge if we get all this land, so... It would be nice to get England, but it's a bit of a stretch. Might not happen. Um, but our soon-to-be wife is actually still pretty high up in the line of succession here. He actually married a 40-year-old woman. That's interesting. She has beautiful, so her fertility is a little bit higher, um, but it's not too long until he's not going to be able to produce an heir of his own. So his heir will be his... Um, I assume his niece, this girl, because his brother here took the vows, uh, and he's a bastard. Uh, actually, born of his mom, not of uh, not of his father, the king. So let's hope this goes off. And we're getting a little bit stressed here from all these murders because we are just. Um, so before I have this stress break, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give some gold away, since we're generous. Uh, we can just... pretty much anyone that's not plus 100 of us here. Um, try to pick some of the bigger ones. Yeah, let's send to you guys. Just wants to... You guys are all pretty happy with us, You're the Duke of Burgundy. Who's the King of Bohemia? Okay. Austria. Most of my vassals like me quite a bit. I am giving out quite a bit of money. Uh, we're almost below the f first stress level, so let's just keep going here. Um, my brother 
We could get rid of this guy. I kind of want these back as my uh, direct vassals. Uh, I guess it's not a priority, though. Um, <laughs> Jeez, most of my vassals love me. Okay, there we go. Dealt with our stress a little bit here. Um, so we are now the heir apparent. Oh, something happened here. He got smallpox. Wow, that's lucky. Um, hopefully he can just die. <laughs> Near death. Let's hope he doesn't get a successful treatment, whatever. Um... I think I'm gonna go with the piety here. What a tragedy. Wow. Rip off. So he could just die at any moment and we could get this. Um Oh, something happened. He lost it. Damn. I mean, we are still the heir apparent, and whenever he does die, I guess we could murder him too. <laughs> no one would ever accuse me of being a role player in this game, I'm trying to murder people as the just person that I am. Um. Yeah, I mean, maybe we could just help him to an early grave here. So he's already on support schemes. Uh, there's no guarantees here. He's an emperor, which is just hard to murder in general, and especially so when you have such low intrigue. Um, the spymaster is not on our side, unfortunately. Um, bribe. Minus 44 still. What if we gave you a gift? No, still, still minus 25, whatever. Um, oh. I can afford the 750. My current court physician is good already, but uh, he's 51. I guess we could do this. Don't want to take the rolling in filth. Cool. My court physician. There we go. Okay. So we're just going to continue on down here through the administrator tree. Realm will lose land if Duchess Alex of Orleans inherits the Kingdom of England. Um, 70%. Okay. So what is that? You. So somehow the king's uh, granddaughter became duke here. Duchess. How did that happen? That's crazy. Uh, her heir is some somebody in my realm, so her dying actually would benefit us quite a bit. It would also make um, his heir our soon-to-be wife. So we definitely want this kid to not <laughs> not become an adult. Uh, we also wouldn't mind if he and his wife didn't have children, which we don't really have much of a say in, but she is, you know, pushing 40, so they just turned 41, there we go. We'll see. Um, so she did actually become, my sister did become a uh, countess over here. Um, took this guy, my really good knight, with her, but that's okay, kind of get it out of the way. Um, this guy, my little brother, we're just going to let him hold the kingdom of Phrygia, that's fine, we don't really care. He's never going to challenge us, challenge our rule. He's very weak, he just has a, a kingdom title and a, one single county in it. So we got a couple sisters, and then this other brother here that we know about that we're tutoring, who is also king. 
our betrothed, king of England, his niece. Oh, we won a crusade. How about that? Um, <laughs> so somehow he, he actually got something. Uh, that's good, I guess. So there is like a, a Catholic faction here. Uh, eventually we, we do want to kind of like spread into Iberia, maybe. I'm not sure exactly how far in this game I'm going to go. But it's, you know, it's always better to have a little Catholic faction here than a Muslim one when you're playing Catholic, so that's, that's decent. Okay, so that's been exposed, so what we might do is just abandon that and wait for him to die, naturally. It's unfortunate that he has some health benefits, but I don't, I don't know if there's just much else that we can really do. Um, we'll just have to, you know, kill any other children that he has to make sure that we inherit it. Because they'll take precedent over us when we don't have born in the purple. Yeah, okay. So I'm just going to abandon that. Um, what, I'm, what I'm actually tempted to do is this girl, send her to an early grave. Uh, we're getting stressed out again every time we do this type of thing. I guess what I could do is, do I have any reason to imprison her? No. Will you accept me revoking? No. Okay. So her dying doesn't cause us any anything negative. This guy is my vassal already, he's a duke already, he's just gonna get some land right next to where he is already. So that's totally fine. What happened here? A liberty war, okay. Um, so maybe, yeah, maybe we can get England. We're not too far away. We kind of got lucky that he married such an old, older woman. Just need to stay alive a little bit. Oh, so he does have his wife pregnant again. I guess we could cut these kids off at the source and try to murder her. But then he just might get married again. I think we should be fine. Um, I'll just have to keep remembering to send some gifts out. <laughs> Find anyone who doesn't love me, plus a hundred. Uh, just, this is my brother, so let's go with that. You. Sixty-eight. We do want to make sure that we keep some money, but... Dropping that stress level from all this murder. And this is part of the reason why I think that um, generous is such a strong trait. Like, I'm completely ignoring my just trait and just, like, murdering people over and over. And I'm just able to deal with it super easily because generous is such a powerful stress drop mechanic in it. That I can basically, like, ignore the, um, the stress that I'm getting from this murder. I don't even have a... Uh, a stress trait yet, I don't think. I guess I could let one of this one of these uh, stress breaks go off. Hopefully get a good one. What's going on here? Okay, so nothing there. You're 53. Are you going to stress bomb us? Okay, whatever. I will be your friend. Okay, this little guy here. Prince Helius. <laughs> I keep having uncles. How old am I? 22 and I just have an uncle born. Interesting. I guess the game's a little different when you're 59 and you have no heir in your family and your wife's half your age. <laughs> he keeps having sons too. What 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 keeps happening to them? I don't know. Mysterious circumstances. Suspicious circumstances. And they say children are the future. Okay. Another one? So now, my betrothed is heir to the King of England. What's going on here? Liberty Ward. He is winning it. Good. What's going on here? 
some other dude's claim on the Kingdom of England. It's kind of annoying. Earl Williams' claim. Uh, if he dies, I think the faction gets invalidated. It just started. Um, are we not in an alliance? Like, he's my cousin. I'm betrothed to his sister. Oh, I guess maybe when the wedding actually happens, I'll be in an alliance with him. I think that's it. Uh, how much longer? She's 15. Okay, this is actually good. We're going to go into a little bit of a debt, but I don't want to take Drunkard, so I'll just take the debt for now. We get an extra stress drop mechanic, so we're going to be losing more stress when we lose stress now, plus 20% more stress loss. The income goes down a little bit, but like that's fine. We got 60 per turn here. So a bit unfortunate timing on the Grand Wedding. I had tons of money when I planned it, um, but then we went into a little bit of debt here. I was going to throw a grandiose wedding, but I think that we're going to have to make it kind of cheap now. Because I do want this um, wedding to go off quite soon here. Um, whatever. So let's just have a peek at this. If we host 222, then it's going to cost 660. We could go cheaper, but I think we at least want to do the middle tier. We are the emperor of most of Europe, after all. Um, so yeah, 660, that's kind of what we're aiming for. About 700 gold. So what happened here? This guy is now Duke of all this land, that's fine. We'll pass down through his family. Um, so it looks like the f one of these factions went off. Uh, it wasn't her faction that got pressed. Maybe another faction got pressed and he accepted their demands. That's how it got rid of it. Um, either way, she does have that pressed claim, which means that our children, my heir, will have an unpressed claim on it. So we'll be able to press that claim regardless, even if we can't just inherit it naturally. What is this? Count Valoran approaches my throne. Both mine and yours. Wow. Foolish to think he could take my throne in this tiny coup. He turns a blade to his own throat. I realize it's never what he wanted. Count Valoran dies. Duke Nicholas was killed by Count Valoran. Crime allows me to imprison this guy. Crime allows me to imprison... So nothing bad happens to me. I thought this was me getting killed here, but it seems kind of weird. I blind and imprison Count Valoran. Or he just dies. Wow. <laughs> I mean, n no need, I think. Oh, so I did get wounded as a part of that. Okay, well, that's fine. Whatever. <laughs> Good amount of murders here. Um, there's no more pregnancies here, right? Like, please stop. Leave this poor girl alone. Uh, he's still fine. These these health benefits are killing me over here. So what exactly happened here? Oh, not claimants. Title history. Inherited via abdication. So this is the guy soon-to-be brother-in-law of mine. He still does have that land. So he just he just let some other faction take it, I guess, because it was a faction of one of these other guys that actually uh, he was at war with. Anyways. Uh, we got a couple sisters that are going to eventually come of age here, and we'll be able to maybe get some alliances with them. We'll see. Not sure what the plan is. We could always get some internal alliances with our dukes or whatever to keep them happy. Not this guy. Um, another one bites the dust. Okay, so we're back. We're back as the Byzantine heir. <laughs> Still pretty stressed. So this was the guy that's faction is being pressed. We can just get rid of him now. Uh, 
Oh man, how did you get smallpox and not die? He does have flagellants, so if he uses it, he might get wounded and have the uh, treatment fail or something like that. I've just massacred this guy's <laughs> entire dynasty. Two living members. That's rough, buddy. Forgiving and just. Who is this? The Lady of Frankfurt. No, let's let's not do that to ourselves. Uh, we kind of got what we wanted out of this marriage anyway. I mean, we're not even married to her yet. We're still just waiting on the cash. But we will get the claims on our kids, even if we don't inherit it naturally. So it, it should be fine, I think. Oh, I shouldn't be doing this. What am I doing? Oh, whatever. I need to save money for that uh, wedding. Two more years. We could always make it cheaper if we need to, but I'd rather not do that. Hopefully we can just get an event or something that gives us some gold. Who the heck? No, she's got lover's pox. That's gross. Oh my god. What did you do? <laughs> A 57 year old? Before we got married? No, come on, dude. The disrespect you show me. I can't believe this. Um, I, I, I can't really do that right now. I, I gotta wait and get this wedding off before this... Before this bride of mine. Okay, I, I don't want to be best friends with him. He's gonna die and give me a million stress. You're not going to become pregnant before we get married. Please tell me that, at least. Okay, let's be friends with our brother. We're not going to kill him. We, we give up on that. Ugh, okay, 50 gold's not that much. Let's do that. Alice became Duke Peter's regent. What? What? Please tell me you're just his regent because he's traveling somewhere. This marriage has been troubling. I wish that I would have not done that. <laughs> Ugh. What are you even doing here? What's going on here? How do I figure it out? I don't know. Um, zealous. Yeah, that's totally fine. Okay, he's on his way back. Take the extra experience. So he made us something okay, at least. Um, what was that? Oh, it's one of these. I can't even, I can't even use it. Uh, here you go, Scotland. You can enjoy that. Okay. You stop her from being regent, please. Okay. Now the wedding will just go off normally. Now we are married to this fornicator. Um let's seduce her like this okay it actually she did actually break up with her lover when we got married at least that's decent of you um i don't think i'll forgive her just in case we want to imprison her eventually uh now that now i don't really even need this gold i guess we could just use it to drop some stress oh that's probably worse than even gifting it away and way more expensive i shouldn't be doing that So my, my cousin wife just became friends with this guy. That, that's a little bit suspect after she's already been unfaithful. Um, hopefully we can just seduce her and have some kids though. Almost there. Almost there. 
Just waiting for this guy. All these children that he's lost have not had any real effect on his, like, stress level. <laughs> um, brave, unfettered spirit. Spontaneity and vigor. Sure, let's go with that. It was spontaneous of you to do what you did. Uh, we're kind of... Do you have another? Um, we're at least, uh, you know... The two biggest Norman houses in in the game at the start, the Houtville and the Normandy House Normandy, are becoming uh, one here at least, and we are gonna get England out of this eventually. I think we can actually just press my wife's claim too, can't we? Yeah, we can. So we could do that, or we could just wait until it's our son's claim and then press his claim. Uh, like, obviously we're going to win this war, but I think I'd rather just have her in my court where I can keep an eye on her. Yeah, okay. Um, is there anyone else we need to kill? It's too early, we can't try to murder him again. 1204 is when we could try that. So you're joining a faction. Okay, whatever, I'll join it. Uh, I guess I can just raise and start sieging here. It's like pretty easy to do. Whatever. Something pious, something entertaining. Oh, that's not a very smart war view. I thought that you had like a bigger faction than that. Oh my god, bro. So basically you were just wanting me to win this war for you. I thought I could just fake participate. So I think that this might be a war to depose her and then her daughter apparently becomes queen? Shouldn't it be this guy? Okay. If I was going to go to war with this, I should at least just be pressing my wife's claim <laughs> instead of doing all this. Whatever. Um, some extra like wall strength here from the Tower of London, it looks like, but we're still getting through it pretty, pretty decently. Okay, she is now my lover. And we have a dynasty legacy. So do I keep going here? I was kind of doing this for the general opinion. I do have two traits to pass on though, so it's very tempting to take this now. The, the timing is impeccable because I think my wife's probably about to become pregnant from the event, so I think that I'll just take that. There we go. There, plus 100. So now who's <laughs> this guy? My prisoner. A Houtville goblin. No, no, no. Okay, I don't care. Um. I guess I just ransom him, like it's the best thing I can do. Just let everyone out. So if this guy presses his claim, oh, he did actually get his wife pregnant at 45, wow. I was going to say, if he, if his 
claim gets pressed, then my wife would just inherit it naturally from being his heir. But uh, no matter what, I think we're going to be able to win it back. Well, that's kind of annoying. How did that happen? The King of Maghreb inherited this land here. Well, we'll get it back eventually. Still just waiting for this guy to die. Uh, I think I'm going to call it here for this part. Hopefully, hopefully, with... Oh, his health is finally poor. With his health being poor, we'll be able to inherit this soon. We've kind of been waiting for a while to do this, but I think that we finally got it. Anyways, thank you for watching this part. If you enjoyed it, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next part.